Hey guys, this is Trace. Uh, time for another vlog. So yesterday I ended up catching a ride. Um, the day before I had got rained out and so I wasn't able to put in the miles that I wanted to. Um, and I guess under normal circumstances that wouldn't be a big issue, but I had an arrangements with couch surfing to, uh, to be in Austin on Friday. Um, so rather than try to, you know, reconfigure all of that stuff, um, I ended up just hanging out at uh, a gas station in LaGrange and catching a ride um, all the way into Austin. Uh, from there, I rode a few miles to, you know, where I'm staying this weekend. Um, but it was an interesting experience, you know. Um, this mother and daughter who were from Houston were going to Austin for the day, and they had a... Uh, uh, she basically was trying to... Um, to do something for a radio station where they show Houston love. Um, so it was pretty awesome to be able to be a part of that for her and that they were able to, you know, help me out with the ride. Uh, it was pretty interesting uh, getting the trailer and the bike to fit in the car. And I think some of you have seen the pictures on Facebook about that. Um, and then today um, I went ahead and rode my bike down into Austin, like downtown in uh, South Congress. I went all the way to the Capitol and everything. Uh, stopped and ate somewhere, um, went to the Capitol, and there was some kind of, uh, I guess, Buddhist ceremony. Uh, apparently some important person had died, and it was his birthday, something like that. Uh, I didn't stay for long, but it was pretty interesting to see that out there, and I got to participate for a little bit. Um, after that, I, uh, I decided to go ahead and catch a bus, uh, you know, just a city bus, you know, back close to where I came from. It would, I had gone about 10 miles, so... I didn't feel like going uh, mostly uphill back that way, uh, but as I'm sitting on the bus, I'm just I'm I've had a lot of stuff going on with me mentally and emotionally, as you guys know, um, and although part of me would like to say, oh well, you know, the full moon is tonight, or Mercury retrograde, or you know whatever else other excuse that could you know go on as far as uh, what's going on. I mean, it's I'm sure some of those things take an effect, but. I felt I've been feeling very um, like really lost, and that's not a word that um, my Dow master would probably like me to use very much. But it's something that you guys understand. Um, basically, I've I'm kind of losing my sense of self. Like I'm not sure who I am. Um, I I have no clue what I want. Um, it's like I've lost track of my desires, and, or or you know maybe I just. Um, you know, I, I'm not sure that those are the things that I really want. Um, and it's been, and a large part of that makes me feel very depressed. And then there's, you know, there's been a lot of fear of judgment from other people, um, based on, you know, whatever choices I make or fear of judgment from myself, um, you know, for whatever choices I make. Uh, because as I'm here, I have at least from what I understand, you know, three basic options. I can, uh, you know, get on my bike, continue forward. Um, I can try and stay in Austin and set up here for a bit. Um, or I can return home. Um, and all three of those seem, yeah, you know, equally intimidating. Um, and, you know, and, and it kind of comes back to that desire thing. I'm not really sure which one I want or, um, you know, which direction I'd like to head in. Um, you know, the first part of this from Houston to Austin was pretty rough. There was a lot of stuff going on with that. Um, you know, of course, starting somewhere where you know nobody is definitely more difficult than starting over in Houston where, you know, I know lots of people. I have a support system there. But there's just this, this huge, like, just cloud in a way of... You know, I don't know what's going on. I have no clue. Um, and as I've been kind of sitting with this and I've been kind of communicating with my Dow Master a bit about this stuff, um, uh, he said, oh, you know, this sounds like you're in a good place, um, which is something that, you know, he would say. And I, I had to agree with him to a certain degree, you know. It is good in a way. You know, this, this losing of myself, this losing of my desires or what I think should happen or what I think I need to do or should do. Um, and it seems to be like, I'm just kind of getting rid of, getting rid of all those things. Um, and although that's a very good process and I've been kind of looking forward to this process for a while, I don't, 
necessarily know about the timing, um, at least as far as what's convenient for me. You know, the timing could be a little bit better. I wish, you know, something like this had happened while I was at my parents' house or, you know, wherever. Uh, but now I feel like I'm almost on this kind of time crunch. Like I, I need to figure out what I'm going to do and I need to start planning accordingly. Um, but there's, there's another aspect to this as well. You know, I just have to be uh, okay with whatever happens and whatever's going on. Um, I have to be okay and not uh, upset with myself if I choose to go back or if I choose to go forward or if I choose to stay here. Um, I have to completely accept and love myself with whatever I choose to do. Um, and then there's even, you know, a, another thing is this, this, uh, you know, well, what is it that I need to do? Is, is there anything that I need to do? Do I just sit and wait? And I, I came, while I'm processing through this stuff, I came across a realization that there's a core belief that I've held that, well, I have to do something, um, that is not okay for me to, uh, float through life, uh, to go with the flow to such a degree that I really make no plans. I really don't strive for anything. Um, and I'm one, and I'm really looking at that core belief and seeing, is that helping me? Is that hurting me? Is it, you know, when it actually all boils down to it, is this a, a positive, you know, a good core belief or is that something that I kind of need to reevaluate? And furthermore, to what extent does that carry? Um, you know, do I literally make no efforts in any regards except for whatever I feel like a whim of the moment? Or do I just go with the flow in some ways and still kind of like have a, a general direction that I'm going? Um, so there's a lot of questions that kind of come up with that that uh, it's really interesting to see how this process is unfolding. Um, but in any case, I intend to... Um, you know, enjoy my time here in Austin. Uh, I'm going to try to make the best out of each moment. Um, but until I see you guys again, uh, I'll catch you later.